At 22, Jerry Duggan was enjoying life, a student at the Sorbonne in Paris taking two degrees, a popular young man with many friends and a close family. Then a year ago, he attended an anti-war conference in the German spa town of Wiesbaden. Days later, he died on this road after being hit by several cars, shortly after ringing his mum in North London, terrified and asking for help. Every day waking up is the worst thing, the first few hours when you wake up and you realize all over again what has happened. If I can find out what happened to him, then perhaps I can begin to come to terms with the fact that he's not here. But because he rang me up and asked for my help, I'm, I'm still trying to help him, because I didn't know what I had to help him from. The German authorities didn't investigate Jerry Duggan's death because it was ruled as suicide. But a British coroner argued he couldn't accept that verdict and said that Jeremiah had been in a state of terror when he died. Today, Foreign Office Minister Baroness Simons promised legal help to find out what really happened. The typical investigation in this country would involve very basic steps such as taking statements from witnesses. In the case of the German investigation, no witness statements at all were taken, not even from the car drivers, let alone from anyone with whom Jeremiah might have spent his last few days. I feel that the um, Foreign Office has taken note and is really disturbed by this account of what happened to my son. The family want the German police to reopen Jerry Duggan's case. A year on, they still have no answers as to exactly how he died, but they do have more hope. Carl Mercer, BBC London News, Westminster.